and welcome. We are creating Doom levels and using Eureka Doom Editor. Today, or this video, we're going to talk about secrets. Secrets are fun. They're secrets, you know, little rooms that you find, and you usually get bonus stuff, and you get it counts as a secret when you find it. Uh, so if I go ahead and save and test, Control S, Control T, the level we've created so far, and I hit Tab to go into Map Mode. Depending on your port of Doom, because originally I'm pretty sure Doom didn't tell you uh, the information up in the top corner there as far as number of monsters and secrets. You can see that I have zero secrets in this level. So let's go ahead and add a secret. And the way you create a secret is you just create a room. It can be any room, any sector, and choose it, and you choose the type, and you say, this is a secret area. Control S, Control T to save and test. Come over here. That room is a secret right now. Obviously, it's not hard to find. You can see in map mode, it's zero of one secrets when I walk into here. Now it says one of one, and it's purple on the map. So let's go ahead and actually hide that. And there's different techniques you can do to do this. So in this particular case, I'm gonna show you one technique. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move my 3D view here, turn and look at that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this little wall here and you can see the rail which is the middle section of the wall you have your upper lower and then the middle section as long as I'm going to choose that and I'm going to choose the same wall texture here and it's right there it's just now hidden now your your ceiling height has to be correct because if I start moving the ceiling down you're going to see uh, mistakes in texture if it's too high you might also see something but let's go ahead and leave it like that. You can't see that, but you can walk through it. So let's go ahead and save that. Come over here, and you don't see it at all. Now you do want you know, people to be able to find your secrets. You don't want to make them impossible. This one is actually showing up map right there. So if they look at their map, they're gonna see it, even though they don't see anything here. And I can just walk along this wall until I find it. It's right here, and now it's counted as a secret. And you put goodies in there. Uh, another way would be obviously to make a hidden door. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna lower my grid a little bit and I'm gonna say, make a sector here. And then I will make that room there. And I'm gonna make this room here a secret area. So now we have two secret areas. Then I'm gonna choose this sector and I'm going to, so if we turn around here, set it down to zero. And it is completely hidden. Uh, now we have to make it a door. We'll go L, choose that, and I'm just going to say uh, the type will be a door, and I'm going to say stay open. So door one, stay open. Now, it is important. Sometimes you forget this on secrets. If you did not set it to stay open, let's say it closes, you want to make sure that you remember to make the other side of the door uh, open the door so you can get out again. I've done it many times where I make a secret, and I do that and then I can't get out. But that's why I set it to stay open this time. Now, I come down here. You can't see it all here, but again, if you look at the map, you can see a little white section there, which means there's a door. I can choose that. And there we go, I got one secret and I come across to this one and get secret number two. So those are two techniques to creating secrets, uh, hiding them. Um, obviously, uh, another thing you can do, let me create another little secret area here. Just like the other one, I'll create a little room here and I'll make it a secret area. And then I'll choose this one and I'll put the ceiling down to zero. And let's go ahead and move our view here so you can't see it. Let's give it a fresh tag of four. And what I can do is I can make it so that when you go into a certain place, that opens up. So let's go ahead and I will make, you can really do it anywhere. I'll do it here. Let's see if we can get there fast enough. So I'm gonna make this, did we say that it was four was the tag? Let's see if that's highlighted per pink now, it is. And we're gonna say, we're gonna choose door, walk through, and we're gonna say walk through, repeat. We're gonna say that it opens, okay? So now, this is going to be an example that you can get stuck in that secret area. But when I walk through here, that door should be open now. Yep. And it's a pretty high ceiling, so it goes up quite a bit. So let's go ahead and um, set the secret room 
to only be 96, which is a pretty low ceiling. If we come in here, now when I walk through, it's already opening. I come over here, it's there. But if you didn't know that was there, you might not notice it, and then it will close before you get to it. And you can't open it by clicking on it. You have to walk through here again and get over there before it closes. But like I said, I did not make it so you can get out of this room. So now you're locked in this room forever. So we want to make sure that we come in here. And we don't want them to be able to click on this side and open it, but only this side. And remember, I'm pretty sure you have to have the wall facing you. So that line's pointing out. So let's just hover our key over this. And um, I'm going to back tick to make sure I have no other wall selected. W to flip that. And I'm just going to say choose. And we don't have to give it a sector because it's connected to that door to that sector, so I can just say door open. So now, I can save that, I can run that. Again, we have three secrets, I just found one, I just found the other, and that other one just closed already, so if I come over here, whoop, I can't get into it, I have to come down here, I have to know that I have to run to get it, run to get it, run to get it, run to get it, and I'll come in here, and now I've got all three secrets, and I should be able to get out of this room again. Again, you might want to replace these wall textures so they aren't bricks moving like that. So another thing you might want to think about while creating secrets, let's go ahead and create a whole other sector over here, just a separate little sector. We will create a secret little room over here, just like we have done multiple times, and we will make that a secret area. We'll make this zero. Let's make both these 128. So let's go ahead and move over here. So then I just make these oh, 128. There we go. So it's a little lower. And let's change the wall textures in here to something such as this might be a good example. We'll do that. Like I said, you want people to be able to find your secrets. So another thing you can do is let's go ahead and choose this and say door one stay open I can choose uh, which one of these is the upper we'll just choose both of them boom so did I choose the right one eight and nine that's almost I changed the texture slightly you can't even, you can barely tell but you might want to give some sort of indication like that to where there is different in texture. You might be able to see it more in the game than you can in the preview there. Let's go have a look. So we have four secrets. Yeah, you can kind of see this wall is a little bit dirtier. And that might give them an indication to click on it. Again, you might want to change the, the, the door track there. Uh, another option would be here. We can do something like this. Uh, actually, I want to find one. There's some that have bullet holes on them, so we should be able to... Here we go. So if we made this, let's make all of these right here. This texture, and then we make this, this texture, and choose under doors. Like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure that uh, the G's are for gun. So now, you can see that there's bullet holes there. That might give you an indication to shoot that door. Um, oh, you know what? I probably have to give it... I don't know if I have to give it a... Well, let's see. I'm testing something out for the first time here. It is, do I have to give it a tag, or will it know... Yeah, let's go back and give it a tag. And give the sector a fresh tag of 5. Give this wall a sector five. Be sure to click out of that. Be shoring. I said be shoring. That's funny. Okay. Now let's see. Yep. So now we can go in here and we got our secret. Again, making sure that you can click to get out of there. Um, but that would be one way to indicate to someone there might be a secret there. Always oh, said to stay open. But it looks just like all these other wall textures, except for it has bullet holes on it. And you might go, oh, let me try shooting that. Anyway. One more thing to think of when it comes to secrets. Let's say you're going to have a multi-sector secret. So I create a little offset door here. And I have this whole sector here, like so. Maybe it's like a whole secret wing. 
What you don't want to do move that down to zero. Choose door, door open. So we have a secret here. We haven't set it as a secret. What you don't want to do is select all of this and say secret area. Because now, if I come in here and start my game, I have nine secrets. We don't really have nine secrets. What you want to do is, first of all, if you ever add apply anything that you don't want, you can choose nothing or just put a zero in the type here. What we're going to do is either one of these, one of the ones that you have to walk through to get into it, I'll just choose this one, make that your secret area. And now I should have five, I think, secrets. Yes. And so I can come over here. I can go into this one. I can find this one here. I can go over here. Oh, I missed that one. I can shoot that one to go into there. And then I can click on this one. And when I walk through here, that's number four. Okay. And that's it for secrets. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out uh, the full playlist in the description of the video. Check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.